Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to discuss uh, Terraform loops and conditionals. So how you can do conditions in Terraform and how you can loop over the resources. So looping actually helps in creating multiple resources with a given template. So you don't have to suppose if you have to create multiple IAM users. So you don't have to write different IAM templates, Terraform templates to create multiple users. You can just loop through a list of names and create the users, right? Similarly for EC2 instances and the conditional so you can create EC2 instances or create any resource based on any condition. So we'll see the example in this video. So right now I'm on the Terraform documentation page. So after Terraform 12, the loops and the conditionals were uh, basically introduced. So earlier there were conditionals, but the for and for each, these two keywords were introduced after Terraform 12. So we'll see for each. Uh, for probably we'll see in the next video. Uh, in this video, we'll keep our discussion only to for each, right? So let's go to our console. And if you remember in the last video, let's do an ls lrt. Let's do a cat on few files like main.tf, cat on our variables.tf, and the cat on our terraform.tf verse file. All right. So we had all these so we created an instance we saw how to use map type of uh, variables how to use list type of variables and things like that so let's see how we can example i mean how can i can show you an example of the conditions so I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go inside my variables.tf file and i'll define a variable over here say env yeah probably that's the variable which i would like to define all right let's save it and let's go to terraform.tf vars file and set env equals to prod yeah maybe so i'm just coming up with an example I'm just thinking out how to show you an example of conditionals right all right and now let's go to our main.tf file and so you if you have not uh, I mean not used terraform so there's a count keyword that actually creates the number of uh, EC2 instance or the number of resources uh, the value of a which is equal to the value of count so like suppose if i come here and say count equals five so this is going to create five ec2 instance with this particular configuration right but that is not very useful because i don't want five ec2 instance with the same configuration i would want some conditionals right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to define a condition that if var dot env is equal equal to the prod so then what we are going to do is we are going to launch say five instances else we are going to launch only two instances so if our environment variable is set to prod which we have set in terraform.tf vars file otherwise if you don't want to set it you can just provide it on the go like when you run terraform apply it will ask you to input the value right but I have already set it to prod. So this should create five EC2 instance. Now let's save this, clear the screen and let's do Terraform plan. And if we haven't made any syntactical error, let's see how many instances it's going to create. All right. so. The plan says that five to add, uh, sorry, seven to add and zero to destroy. So I think it worked because earlier we only had three resources. So you can see EC2 instance and then there's a list uh, index of four, index of three, index of two, one, and there should be another one zero. So great. So this is how actually the conditionals work. So there is, I mean, in Terraform templates, you can use if statement as well, but I'll not show you that in this video 
because that will actually get a little complicated so i'll keep it to for conditionals i'll just keep it to here uh, in the future videos i'll show you how to use for and uh, if both because those two keywords are actually a little complicated right so that is why i'm skipping it over here all right so now let's see how to use for each so in this time i'm going to go into main.tf and what i'm going to do here is so i'm going to define a variable over here itself in my main.tf uh, so let's say i call this users right and the type will be of list and default so i'm setting the default value so let's say meredith Derek and say Christina all right so I have defined a variable users so now I'm going to create an resource called I am user so resource AWS underscore I am underscore user and I'll call this my users right and here I'll start a for each block for underscore each equals to each dot value so this is going to pick value from this resource right and coming down so this I am user resource takes one uh, required parameter which is name so name will be equal to name will be equal to each dot value and I have made a mistake over here so for each will not have each dot value that will be the value of name for each will use another keyword which comes with for each is to set and to set will be where dot users all right so we are going to loop over this variable users and set the value which is equal to name and don't confuse anything about this this is just an identifier for my resource this resource right so what i'm doing for each so this is the actually the syntax for for each if you uh, look into the terraform uh, documentation you'll find that with for each you got to use this two set keyword right to loop over the values so this is what i'm doing this is nothing which i'm doing from my end it's all terraform all right so let's save this and if we haven't made any mistake let's do a terraform plan and yes i have made a mistake all right so it's saying on line number 25 main.tf so let's go to vi main.tf and i have made a typo over here source i hope we are good now let's save this now do clear the screen and do a terraform plan all right so you can say see that the number of resources to add has increased so let's go up and see where it's creating our users cc2 instances and here you see so user meredith user derek and user christina so it's looping over that list and it's creating so you don't have to like write duplicate your code for each user you can use the loops although uh, let me tell you that in terraform the loops and condition conditionals have very limited uh, flexibility it's not like you use your loops in programming so they have uh, limitations in terraform but they are pretty useful when you are faced with such conditions right where you have to create multiple resources of the same kind with the same configuration and things like that 
all right so yeah this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yeah thank you for watching